All right, statistics, here we are. We're just gonna do a quick, a quick problem. Left tail test, hypothesis testing. Uh, one prop Z, one prop meaning one proportion. Why is it one proportion? One population. Next chapter, we do two populations, and we compare one population to another. We compare boys versus girls, or Republicans versus Democrats, or you know, 10th grade versus 11th grade, or whatever, whatever it is. You can, we, we get into all this comparing populations with one sample from each population. But for right now, we're testing hypotheses from a single population with one sample, and we can do it with a degree of certainty, and that degree of certainty comes from our significance level, which basically comes from like, like the confidence level that we did last chapter. So here's our problem. 20% of people like spinach. Has this decreased? Has this decreased? Use a significance level, an alpha level. Alpha is like this little fish. It's a Greek letter. Looks like a little fish. If you get rid of this part, if you get rid of this part of the fish, you basically have our lowercase a. Okay? So, a lot of Greek letters, a lot of our letters, look similar to Greek letters, and there are some that are completely different, okay? So, um, anyway, alpha level is 0.05, and here's our test statistics. Suppose 10 people out of 60 like spinach. So we're going to follow this format. Calculate the, find the hoha. Hoha comes from the population. We're going to draw a null model, and then we're going to calculate our test statistic, and we're going to think about this. And this is going to be a left tail test. Why is it going to be left tail? Because it decreased. So our hoha... 20% of people like spinach. P equals 0.20. Has this decreased? There's our hop. P less than 0.20. So maybe you're at a restaurant and you're maybe you're you know you're coming up with a menu and you're like, hmm, we buy all this spinach fresh every week. No one's ordering the spinach. What should we do? Should we have spinach? Should we take it off the menu because people around here don't like spinach? Um, what should we do? Well, you know, a survey would be good. You could probably do like an online survey or whatever, or you could just go with what you got and say, well, listen, we're not going to use, we're not going to buy spinach because it's too expensive. Not only that, suppose, you know, think about it. Sometimes these vegetables get really, really expensive in the wintertime. You know, I'm sure come along August, September, restaurants are buying tomatoes a lot cheaper because they're growing everywhere. But come January, tomatoes have to be shipped in or, or in a greenhouse, and they're just more expensive. So it's, it's kind of a practical problem. Okay, so we have a decrease. So this decrease means left tail. What does left tail mean? Left tail means this. Left tail, over here. Boom. Are we in this rejection region? Or not? So there's like the cool region, the non-reject region. Or are we in the reject region? And what percentage is in that reject region? Well, we can set up a lot of this stuff before we even get to the standard deviation. The alpha level is 0.05, so guess what? That's 0.05. So, again, there's a special place on your chart, 95%, but on the left side, this is negative 1.645. That's our critical Z. Our critical Z right here, negative 1.645. Why is it negative? Because you're on the left side of the curve. The last problem we did was a right tail. We we're on the right side of the curve. So guess what? This over here, 5%, this in here, 95%. If our test statistic falls in the 95%, we're going to say, eh, I think the null is probably going to be okay. We're assuming it's true. We don't have evidence to change it. If our test statistic falls out here, we're going to say, ha, huh, well, randomly, it's probably not going to happen out here. It's too extreme. We're, we're going to say that we're going to reject that null because it probably is no longer true. So how do we come up with that 
this decision making criteria. Well, negative 1.645, that's a z-score. Remember, right in the middle is our true p. What is this? It's a pile of p hats. It's a pile of p hats again, pile of p hats. So we're calculating our normal model. The mean of the p hats is the true p, which we have right here. The true p is 20%. p is 0.20. Standard deviation of all the p hats is square root of p times q divided by n. So p is 0.20. Q is 0.80, and in this case, 60 people. Well, I already calculated that for you, okay? On my Inspire here, I just got to bring it back up. 0 0.05, so that's roughly, this is roughly 0 0.05. So our standard deviation is 0 0.05. So if I go up one standard deviation, there's two, there's three. If I go down one, Go down two, go down three. Uh, if I go up 0 0.05, this is easy. So that's 0 0.25, 0 0.30, 0 0.35. If I go down one, it's 0 0.15. Um, go here, 0 0.10, and then 0 0.05. Okay? So there's our normal model. We're going to calculate. Now we're up to step three. Calculate the test statistic. What's the test statistic? Well, that's p hat. What's p hat? P hat. We can do it in this corner. Test statistic. Again, what's the statistic? Comes from where? You should be able to answer that. Comes from the sample. What's our sample? 10 people out of 60. P hat. 10 people out of 60. 10 out of 60 is 1 out of 6. Do you know how much 1 out of 6 is? 1 out of 6? Do you know? Do you know? 1 divided by 6. Do you know how much it is? It's, it's, it's um, 16%. Okay. 0.166667. So about 16%. Okay. If you want to round it up, we'll call it 17%. Okay. We'll round it up to 17%. All right. So. 0.17, p hat's 0.17. So what do we have to do with that 0.17? We gotta calculate our z scores. Okay? 0.17. So p hat z score. Z score for p hat minus p divided by the standard deviation. So we're gonna say 0.17 minus 0.20 divided by 0.05. Just trying to keep the numbers easy here. That's definitely going to be negative. Why? Because we're on the left side. So negative 0 0.03. Negative 0.03 divided by 0.05. Negative 0.03. So here we go. Control divide. Negative 0.03. And then on the bottom we're going to put 0.05. Boom. Negative 0.6. Negative 0.6. That's our z-score. Our test statistic puts us at negative 0.6z. Well, let's see, this was negative 1z, this was negative 2z. So negative 0.6z is about right here. Okay? All right, which is 0.17, boom, right there. 0.15 is there, that's 0 0.2, 0 0.17, that's negative 0.6z scores. We're right here. Where do we fall? We fall in the shaded region. The shaded region is not the reject region. So what's our conclusion here? Our conclusion is we fail to reject the null. So what does that mean? What does that mean? It means we don't have enough evidence to say that the number of people that like spinach has decreased. We're, we're kind of going along and saying, well, given our sample, the number of people like spinach has probably not changed. It's probably stayed the same. It hasn't gone down. Why? Because randomly we fell right in here. Look, look how close to the mean we fell. Right here. So in here, this is the fail to reject. Now here's the reject. We fell in the fail to reject region, so we're not going to reject that null. Okay. 
It's very, very simple once you get the hang of it. I know that it's like it could be it could be like overload on you. Just follow the steps. The ho ha comes from the population. The null model. Assume the null is true. That's also population. The only time you go to the test, the only time you go to the sample stuff, and what's the sample right here? Ten people out of sixty. The only time you go to the sample is when you calculate the test statistic. And how do you know you go to the sample? Because statistic tells you it comes from the sample. The language is important. It tells you test statistic. That means sample. Okay. That means sample. How do you know it's left tail? Because that was less than. How do you know that's less than? Because it said the problem decreased. It's very simple. It's a whole bunch of little things coming together into one big problem. Okay? Hang in there. You will get it. I know that maybe your head's spinning. You will get it. Just take it one step at a time. And this is, it's a big deal. And, and we're probably going to spend the next two to three weeks on hypothesis testing. So it's not like we're going to spend, like, it's not like we're going to move on next week. So I will see you soon, as soon as we return back from our COVID situation. I will see you soon, and we will be talking about a lot of these problems together. Until then, stay safe. Good luck. I'll see you then.